investigation. Why hemoglobin here? What hemoglobin does with hypertension? It is not always low hemoglobin. Polycythemia can be associated, but low hemoglobin in chronic renal insufficiency, you have to be careful about. And also, if a patient develop heart failure, secondary to hypertension, and they have hemoglobin, low hemoglobin, you have to treat them gently. You can't really overload them with blood. And uh, that can coexist. So you have to be careful about it. Cardiovascular risk assessment, you have to do sugar, you have to check the cholesterol, you have to check the kidney and EGFR because it is not only important for the target organ damage, when you are giving certain medicine, that is also important. And also you, sodium, potassium particularly. Now, in medical school or in some exams, we see that low potassium blood pressure is equal to Crohn syndrome. But interestingly, many patients with primary aldosteronism or Crohn syndrome, they don't have hypokalemia. So it does not mean normal potassium cannot happen. But if there is a diuretic-induced hypokalemia in a hypertensive patient, think about Crohn's. That is very important. I'm repeating. Diuretic-induced hypokalemia in a hypertensive patient, think about Crohn's. Hyponatremia is common with diuretics. And particularly when you are giving this medicine, so somebody is uh, coming to you with confusion. You diagnose them with UTI. You thought UTI is the cause. You miss the point that the patient is perhaps in, on some diuretic. So you haven't checked that. Maybe the double pathology caused more confusion in a UTI patient with hyponatremia secondary to uh, are diuretic, they are on for blood pressure. So be careful about that. Thyroid, both hypo and hyper can cause blood pressure. Urine routine and ACR, I have told you that ACR has got great value in management. So you have to do that. 12 lead ECG, echocardiogram, renal ultrasound, and renal Doppler, wherever applicable. It is not whenever the patient is coming, you are doing that. You have to keep your mind open. Which investigation you are prescribing when, that is also important. Think about the patient's pocket when you pay yourself for this investigation, pocket pinches, you will realize that it hurts the patient nowadays to buy all this medicine, to get all this investigation. Now this urinary metanephrine, serum cortisol, or aldosterone renin ratio to screen uh, this hypoaldosteronism, hyperaldosteronism, or Cushing's or uh, pheochromocytoma. This we don't do normally every day. Only if your suspicion level is high, do it. Or if you are facing a case of resistant hypertension, you are sending this patient to the specialist, they sometimes do it. But keep it in mind that if these things are coming to your mind, then definitely you can think about this kind of investigation. <laughs>